Hello everyone, welcome to this part 2 video on pain pathway and before watching this video please do watch my previous video on it so that it will be very much easier for you to follow and understand. In the video, we will talk about Melzac and Wall propose gate control theory and endogenous opioid system. So, if we feel a pain sensation in the pain, we will talk about the excitatory and inhibitory inputs. So, Melzac and Wall propose gate control theory. It was proposed in the year 1965. So, what do you say about it? As I said you already in my previous video, a cell is in the spinal cord. That is the T-cell. That is nothing but transmission cell. And the T-cells have the impulse, the amount of impulse, C-fibers as well as a delta fibers लरण्ड वंदे चुना pain वंदे perceive आगो आधे अंदर T cells को पोरा आधी का amount of impulse वंदे A beta fibers लरण्ड वंदे चुना pain वंदे पातो ना it will not be perceived और अंदर person वंदे pain feel पना मार्टांगा so when excitatory input is more from C fiber as well as A delta fiber कंडीपा pain feel पन मांगा आधे when the excitatory impulse is more from the A beta fibers pain वंदे पातो ना feel पना मार्टांगा so we describe it with a term called as presynaptic inhibition so A beta fibers are the amount of non-painful impulse to be pre-synaptic and the pain is to be inhibited. So pain is to be suppressed at the level of spinal cord. It is not being taken to the higher centers. So at the level of spinal cord with the help of pre-synaptic inhibition, pain impulse to be inhibited, we can either go for electrical stimulation, traction, compression or massage. What we can do is that the pre-synaptic inhibition is at the level of spinal cord and the pain is suppressed. So it is not being taken to the higher centers. This is what Melzac and Wall propose to do with gate control theory. Gate is being closed at the level of spinal cord. So it was proposed in the year 1965. So, if you look at a person, at the level of spinal cord, pain is closed. So, from the spinal cord, the pain impulse is being taken to the higher centers. So, if you look at higher centers, the pain is descending to the higher centers. That is the descending pathway, which is also called as endogenous opioid system. This is in the year 1973 that we identified. So, from the higher center, that is the frontal lobe of the cerebral cortex and hypothalamus, the pain impulse is descending to the periaqueductal gray matter. Periaqueductal grey matter लरने इंगे वरिद अपडीन पातोना to the brain stem. Brain stem ले मेना वंद पातोना to the lower pons and upper middle लाक दाम वरिद. अंगर एंड nucleus वंद पातोना अरुक्क. We have nucleus raphae magnus which is present at the lower border of pons and upper border of the middle ला. इन्नोर और nucleus वंद पातोना अरुक्क. अधुदा nucleus reticularis. इद वंद मेना middle लाल दा अरुक्क. So इंद रेंड nucleus को वंद पातोना अपडीन पातो ना तू दी लैटरल व्हाइट कॉलम and the lateral white column and the pain impulse to the neurons in the anterior grey horn of the spinal cord. So, in the spinal cord, what is happening to the spinal cord? There is a substance released like endorphin, enkephalin, dynorphin as well as serotonin. So, what is happening to the substance? Now, the pain is suppressed by the level of spinal cord. So, this is called as endogenous opioid system. So, the pain is spinal cord close to the higher centers. Again, the descent is कील अवरम होते, with the help of serotonin, endorphin, enkephalin and dynorphin, pain मंदे inhibit पन रहते था, it is called as endogenous opioid system, which was discovered in the year 1973. So I hope you got to know some information about how the pain is being transmitted and the underlying mechanism of it. Thank you so much for watching.